And when you get into a relationship with someone that you really like and, and stuff like that, it's very hard to not just be focused solely on them. It's very hard to be like, okay, I'm going to focus on you, but I'm still going to care about things for myself. It's not to say that you shouldn't pour into people. It's not to say that you shouldn't give to people. It's not to say that you shouldn't care about your relationship or want to serve your man. What I'm saying is that, like I always say, balance. You should always have things that you care about. You should always have things that are important to you as well. Right. It's very important that you have that happiness. And you're probably wondering, well, how does that relate to aura? Well, that is part of what gives you the aura, the confidence to walk around and feel good about yourself. So whether this guy likes you or this guy doesn't like you or this guy feels this way about you or this guy makes that comment or this guy ghosts you or this guy that and this guy that this guy. Right. Instead of you being so desperate to gain validation from other people of what they think about you instead of being controlled by the validation someone might give you or take away from you right you will be more in control of yourself right because a lot of you that are codependent or seeking and desperate for that validation are controlled by that validation. And that's why you find yourself in relationships or situationships where you're being used by someone else, right? You're being used by someone else because they understand that your desperation will allow them, right, for their validation will allow them to control you because they know if they give you more or give you less, they can control you and sway you to get you to do what they want you to do and act how they want you to act. And in the end, the only person that suffers is you because they get what they want from you, right? They control you, right? And even when they do something wrong, you're so desperate for their validation and attention, right? That you are too scared to even address it or say anything about it. And so you live your entire life in fear because your only purpose on this earth is the other person and the relationship. That's what you feel like your only purpose is. So you're always in fear of losing that because you don't have any sort of happiness outside of that. You don't have any way of sustaining yourself outside of someone else giving you that validation and that attention and that care and pouring into you. You don't spend enough time pouring into yourself that you're scared someone will leave you and no longer pour into you. This is real. I told you guys, for those of you guys who come, I know we love to tell jokes and we love to laugh and we love to joke around and this and that and have fun. And I love to have fun, but like it's deep out here. Like it's deep out here. It's real out here. Okay. And I'm not saying this to scare you, but I just want you to understand its importance, right? When you're wondering why you, you're getting treated how you've been getting treated, and you're wondering why you're constantly fi finding yourself in, this, in the same situations over and over again with what feels like similar people, right? This is why, right? These are the type of things that are affecting the type of people you're attracting. And I know you want to attract a different type of people because that's why you're here. Okay. That's why I want you to understand its level of importance. So then you're probably asking, okay, well, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what my purpose is. How do I find that? Well, you got to go out and do things. I'm sorry to tell you, your purpose is not going to come on you just like scrolling through TikTok and someone's going to tell you, hey, this is your purpose. Do it. That's not how it's going to find you. You actually have to get up off your couch, get out of your bed and go and try some things. Go to an art class, go to a museum, go rollerblading, go skating, go, I don't know, throwing axes. Go to a sex club. No, I'm just joking. Don't go to a sex club. That was a joke, guys. Don't go to a sex club, okay? Just go out and explore. Build a garden in your backyard. Learn something that you might be, you might be interested in. 
read. I don't know. Do, do something. Do something. Okay. The reason I just say do something is because it's really that simple because in the process of doing something, you'll discover, Hey, I like this. I enjoy this. I, uh, I, you know, I feel good about this. I like spending time on this. Let's see what more I can explore as it relates to this. Okay. You'll go a step deeper. You also, by the, the, by going out and doing something, uh, Agnes said, I'm learning how to mine to mine in crypto. Awesome. Awesome. Like you guys don't have to think that it has to be like, okay, I've got to take eight grams of mushrooms and go on the craziest spiritual trip in the middle of the Sahara desert. Look up at the stars, dehydrated, fasting for 85 days to really understand what my, pr it's not that you don't have to do all that. Okay. You just have to do one thing. Just take a little bit of action. Okay. Just go out and try something, right? Because even if you don't like it, that's a step forward because now you know what you don't like. Okay. That's a step forward. Even if you try something, you fail, or you try something and you're like, I fucking hate this. That is great. Now you know that you hate this and you don't have to do it again. Or you can look in a different direction. It's crossed off the list. You're one step closer to finding your purpose when you know what your purpose is not. Okay? That is also good. Right? <clears throat> and eventually, as you continue to cross a whole bunch of things off your list, because you tried them and you experienced them, and you know you don't like them because of that experience, you will eventually be left with very little else to try. And you'll probably discover that the last thing you tried after you crossed everything off your list that you didn't like is the thing for you. That's how it works. Okay. So either way, you're, you're going one step closer to your goal. One step closer. Okay. And eventually you will, f I prom, I promise you, I promise you cross my heart, hope to die. I promise you, if you go out and you try things, right? If you go out, you make some mistakes, you fail a little bit, right? You do some things wrong, right? You just try. You will eventually find something that interests you, that you care about truly, that you don't have to force yourself to care about. You don't have to force yourself to be interested in. You don't have to force yourself to want to learn more about. You will actually just be interested in it. Okay. I promise you. And when that happens, I, you will see a whole new side of life. You'll realize that you stop caring about whether or not he's ghosted you because you will have something in your life for the first time that is consistent and constant that you can grow in and you can nurture that you can see yourself, pour yourself into, and you can see results from that can never, ever, ever be taken away from you. How blessed would you be if you knew what it is your purpose is, or knew what it is you're passionate about, knew what it is you should be doing with your life, and you're not doing that. At that point, that just becomes a you decision. And you have to accept the fact that the place you're in it in your life is a consequence of your own decisions and your own actions. Right? Safi says responsibility is a tough pill to swallow. It is. And I'm not, and, and I'm not saying this to single out uh yes on, I'm just saying it in general, right? For all of us, responsibility and the accountability to say, you know what? I am where I am in my life, in my relationships as a result of decisions that I've made for myself. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Especially as it relates to that. Now I understand relationships. Not everything that happens in a relationship is all your fault or all decisions that you've made, but your life is a culmination of decisions that you made, right? Whether directly or indirectly. And the faster you can acknowledge that, the more you can start taking control of that and putting into action and putting in place the things that you want to see right? Turning your life into what you want it to be instead of feeling like you're a backseat passenger to your own life. You can't be a main character and then simultaneously 
uh, go about life as if you're a backseat passenger to your own life, as if life is just happening to you and not for you. Life will happen for you one way or another. It will either happen very badly for you or it can happen positively for you. But the choice is actually yours. The, the choice is actually yours. I'm going to say it again. The choice of where your life ends up is actually yours. Okay. That includes your purpose, what you, your goals, reaching your goals. That includes your relationships. The choice is yours. If you want a good, long lasting relationship, you can have that. It's going to take work though. You want a good life. You want to live a good life. You want to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can have that. It takes work though. It takes consistency. You got to show up more than one day. It's not going to be easy. You're not just going to get it by sitting on your ass and eating potato chips. You can have it. The universe is at your fingertips. You can have it. It's going to take work though. It's not going to fall in your lap. This is why I talk about Disney princess syndrome, right? When I talk about aura, I talk about your desirability. Everyone thinks, you know, from all the Disney princess movies that they've watched that they think that, oh, well, I should just be able to exist. And a guy will come along. He'll sweep me off my feet off my feet just because I exist. And that's how it should work. Well, no, it does not work like that. Does not work like that, right? Does not work like that. You got to put in work to be more desirable in all emotionally, physically, spiritually, all that stuff. You got to put in work to be more desirable. You got to put in work to change your aura. You got to put in work to increase your, to, uh, to, to better the perception that other people have for you in that process, right? In that process of you putting in that work, you will get out of your relationships and your life, what you want. Don said, I'm trying so hard to find my purpose. It is, it is possible. It is out here. Believe it, believe it or not, believe it or not. I did not wake up out of bed like this physically and spiritually and mentally and all that. Right. I had to make mistakes to sit in front of you right now. This is why I always say, guys, I'm not a perfect human being. I know it seems like, oh, well, you got it so figured out. Like you're young, you're smart, you're here, you're talking, you're intelligent. Like it took work. Like it's, it, it, I had to make mistakes. Like I had to try and I had to fail and I still fail. I still have things to work on. I still have to grow. I still have to learn. The journey is not over, right? I also had to sit down with myself and ask myself, okay, enough of just allowing life to run over you, okay? Enough of just allowing life to be whatever it is and just accepting it for what it is. I'm going to take control of my own life and decide for myself what I want out of life. So I sat down and I said, this is what I want out of life. This is what I want out of life. This is what I want out of life. Okay. So how am I going to get those things? What are my skill sets? What is the first step? The smallest step. And I just did that. And then I built on that the next day. And then I built on that the next day. And then I tried some things one day and I failed. And then I tried some things another day and I failed. And then I tried some things one day and I succeeded a little bit. And then I said, okay, maybe there's some to that. Okay, I, I, I positioned myself in this way. Then I tried some more things, I fail. I try some more things, I fail some more. I try some more things and maybe I succeed a little bit more than I adjust myself again, right? Until I can finally sit in front of you today and be where I'm at today, okay? It's not an accident, but I say that to say for you as well, it is more than possible. Like I always say, this version of me always existed. I just had to find it. Okay. The same way your version of you, the, the more, the grown version, the, the more mature, the one that, you know, has found their passion, the one that is going after that already exists. It already exists in the world, in the universe. It, it's, it's like already existing, like right now, like right now, as we speak, it already exists. You just have to do the work of going out and finding it literally already existing. 